It is a full circle moment for you. And you look beautiful. Well, thank you. Do you do you feel as fabulous as you I look? feel better. <laughs> do you? Whatever I look like, I feel a hundred times better. Yeah. 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 So from getting up in your pajamas and going to that B Dalton in Baltimore yes. to Chicago to New York to Broadway to here in Hollywood, once again, here comes that woman, that woman with the color purple story. I know. What do you know now about the color purple that you didn't know before? I know that it endures. I know that the thing that I felt the very first time I read that book on that July Sunday in 1982, I think it's the, the, the power and essence of that story still resonates with everyone else. And I think this is now reimagined for another generation. And who knows what will come after? Because the principles of forgiveness and finding your own joy and discovering God within yourself and being able to express that in the world in a way that other people can see and know that you've been redeemed, that thing will be needed forever. Not even AI can change it. You know what I mean? As long as there are humans, there will be a need for what the color purple speaks to. So I feel good about that. One of the things I know you've said is that you wouldn't be who you were if it were not for this story. If it were not for this film, this film really changed everything for me. And everybody always thinks it's about being in the movie. It was about everything that surrounded the movie. It was about the decision to surrender to get the part. It was about being around uh, Steven Spielberg and Quincy Jones and Alice Walker every day and seeing, oh, that's what your work should feel like. You should not feel like you're working when you're working. It should feel like you're so impassioned that you want to go to work every day. You can't wait to get there, which is what I was doing on that set. It feels like you own yourself. Me seeing Steven Spielberg own Amlin is what put the idea in my head that I could have a Heartball Studios. And so when I say it changed my life, what it really did to change my life is I had to give up three years of vacation in order to do it. And only after I finished doing it did my lawyer say, you never want to be in that position again, so you should own yourself. So it caused me to actually own the Oprah Winfrey show instead of being a paid talent on the Oprah show. One of the things that a lot of the actors have said is that you gave them the space to do their own thing on this project. You didn't tell them what to do. You said, make your own. Do your own thing. But, I mean, you know, there's a couple moments where I would say, okay, I'm not the director, but I would go up and whisper to the director, you know, I think she needs to lean in a little more. I think she needs to put her hands on that baby's face or something like that. But, you know, I was an observer, and as a producer, your job is to try to keep things moving along and making sure that everybody has what they need. So I love, at this stage of my life, being in that position to help somebody else. Go get it. Thank you, Ms. Winfrey. Your proof that purple endures forever. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thanks.